I'm dead. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Also, there is a review option. So if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously we can't lie to you so we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, out here and above when we actually give you the video they're gonna be there live with us there you are dear listener Fire merch. do it well say I, it. you're supposed to say a bar buyer march i say buyer merch indeed and the challenge shall lead them that was the big no. thing you said but no i think you say buyer merch. i don't remember i say anyway. buyer merch indeed and the challenge yeah. shall lead them so I'm saying indeed. Merch. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys. Whatever. <clears throat> Here we go. Shout out to Seven Dust and his uh, slipping into consciousness. And, or in and out of consciousness, shall we say. Speaking of consciousness, this is a band Arion, called the Eye of Ra. Achnion. And oh, this uh, is a live it one, is babe. the Eye of Ra. Hey, look, the next song after is also alive. Yes, I'm very, very happy. This pleases me. This pleases me. As long happy. as it's not a, uh, uh, people were saying like, "Yo, we were about to get copyright hit here with uh, uh, Frampton," but we didn't. I'm Inshallah. surprised we didn't. Inshallah. Inshallah. I'm glad Inshallah. I didn't even Inshallah. think of that. Yeah. I hate that feeling. Like that All teacher used to go down the hall slapping the All right. ruler on her wrist. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Uh, the eye of you, raw. Uh, the eye of raw. Let's do it. Lyrics on that side, please. Hmm? Lyrics. Yeah. <clears throat> These guys are some gangster shit. Look at that. Oh, wow. Holding that no, bro. Yes, it 
Is that floor? That's floor! It is? Pony's in here, she'll tell us. That one's that, Oh, oh yeah, that's it definitely is, yeah! Floor, bro. Human beings, man. Unbelievable. Pat. It's so crazy. This would be a what, song that what we would human be, beings like, are not... capable of is insane to me. Just, yeah, oh, I know. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I like how Flora points to the crowd. Like it's you, I know. you know what I mean? Like yeah. she yeah. could just be like, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's she's me. A, she's a pro. Yeah. She's a pro. Yeah. She knows. <laughs> she knows. This uh this was just beautiful start to finish. When he first started it, and um, I actually didn't hear this beginning part. The far away from in outer, outer space, space. A traveler from another world left his dying race. He found our planet full of life in the body of a little boy. He could survive. Oh. Yeah, I think like this is like people were saying. I this heard is... right here. I have finally found the key. That's when I heard that part. Yeah, let me. Is this the last song on the record? I don't know. No. It's the second to last one. The the it's Star Child, and then the two gates, is the last uh, song on the record. So it looks like it's one of these situations where, um, it's based on Egyptian religion. Oh obviously, yeah, because mm-hmm. uh, there's a lot of comedic stuff in there. But it looks like this kid, like the the world died or their previous planet died or whatever, but the spirit of Ra entered into that kid. Mm-hmm. 
he comes to Earth, I'm assuming, he found our planet full of life in the body of a little boy he could survive. So mm-hmm. the spirit of Ra enters into that kid, and then I guess he then reincarnates as the son who then watches over him. Because Ra is a sun god. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I know. Or Ray, however you want to, <clears throat> however you want to pronounce it. Go ahead, but go ahead. What were you saying? Well, the, <coughs> so the beginning of it right here, the when the archaeologist started, that's when I like his voice, like the way that he was reading it. Yeah. And do you remember, I'm not sure if this is something your mother played for you when you were little, but it was like this story of a father and a son. I've played it for you before. I'm not sure if you'll remember it. A father and a son, and they're taking the lamb to Jerusalem to be killed as a sacrifice. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Oh, the the song. Yeah. Little children watch the lamb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song. Father, it father, reminded me of that, here? like that the beginning where it's like a song of a like a story that's put to song or you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, man, whenever like every every week at church they would be we would sing a bunch of songs all together and then there would be like two or three sometimes yeah, of specials they called them where people would go which was actually really stupid name like why would you call it specials like those people are more special but i think they mean a little special thing in the middle of the service it's a little remix from the standard uh worship yeah like we're gonna worship the singer now just babe we had a girl at that other church that kept always trying to do specials yes right Right. And I, uh, and we were like, nah, man, this is, this no, this is not a special. This is a you session. This they wanted not, it. This is not the place for <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. Uh huh. But continue. Continue. Um, so, whenever they would do that, like, I, I was kind of bored with that because it was just one person singing. Nobody else is involved. But whenever somebody would get up there and they'd have one of those story songs, I loved it. I was engaged, even if you couldn't sing good. Yeah. And this was like the start of that, like his voice, the way that it read it, and the way he was going it. Like, he was like that reading song is singing. a heartbreaker, though, man. SubhanAllah. It's such a good one. I was I, thinking sometime we should do it on the channel. Yeah, yeah. I would never do that song on this channel. Why? That's just way too sacred for me to do on the channel. I, I just know. That's I would so interesting because I was like, oh, I'd love to be able to share that. I mean, with you them. could do it. You could do it one on one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sure they'd love to hear it. But it's just, there's so much of my mom tied to that whole song. It's yeah. not something I'm going to share with anybody. Yeah. But uh, I can see that. It's so funny that both of our moms were into that one. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you can't not be. Into but that's that one. true. It doesn't. Yeah, anybody could. So anyway, <coughs> so I thought of that at the beginning of it, and this part's interesting where it says in the body of a little boy he could survive, um, because this story is a little like because Jesus come, Jesus comes to or well God comes to earth through Jesus. Yeah. So he comes into a little boy. So you know what I mean, like. But it's oh, yeah. It's different in the same, you know. Well, I, I, I keep he doesn't saying do it we keep telling the same story in the Western yes. world. The Western world has never been able to get over that story, man. Mm-hmm. Whether it's Superman and you know Kalel, I mean, even right. the kid's name has L in it. For right. goodness' sake, like right, it, it's 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 such a compelling story, and we have we we're bound to keep telling it over and over Ugh, and over again. I love it when you say that. It's such a good sound, yeah. And that's that's why like I got a lot of confidence for a lot of people. You know, because there's a reason we love those stories. Oh. And there's a reason, you know, that Superman's an endearing story to people. So, you know, there's this thing about, uh, on, uh, with Krishna where basically uh, the the guy said, because, you know, they're chanting, you know, Krishna, Krishna, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. So, yeah. I, for, I forgot what it was. But anyway. Yeah, I know what you're talking there's about. There's this one thing where the guy was uh, mocking Krishna people, he's like, oh yeah, Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Hare, and Krishna said, that's it, that's good, and he and he got he gave the guy enlightenment. So you had all these other people that were working for like 20, 30, 50, oh. thousand years chanting, and he didn't give them enlightenment, and then this guy <laughs> says it in a mocking term and says that's good enough, and basically the guy said Krishna knew that was the only time the guy was ever going to say it, so he jumped and he up. wanted so him he in, ju- so he, he jumped took on it. it. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, like. Jesus is the only way, but there isn't only one way to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. But, yeah, so Ra lives forever That's through this child. He gains his powers from afar and built a gateway to the stars. So, it looks like Ra is like a good guy here, and his job is to guide everybody uh, back home, which I don't know what home is, but this yeah, is kind of I know. based on Stargate. This is based on, there's this, uh, it's like Star Trek, but yeah, it's called okay. Stargate. Oh, okay. I, I actually, I had a little, like, I can, if I commit to, like, four or five episodes, I could get into the Stargate series, but it's just not something you you would be into. I just know it's not something you're into. I don't know. Maybe I'll make that my five o'clock, because I've, I've got, I've, I don't, I thought Try myself, it with like, me. Try it with me first, and I'll, you'll know if I'm not into it, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That's true. Um, because I did get into some of that stuff, and it'll be different if you start me on it, because I have just bad memories with all the other ones. Yeah, but um, I understand it's a dominant religion in the Western world, but I've been in the Middle Eastern world uh, quite a few times, <laughs> and there are no stories that mirror Muhammad. Oh, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, not, yeah. not, not to the degree... Right, of that, it being implanted in the Western world, it's not even relatively mm-hmm. close. The template is not even relatively close, mm-hmm. and, and I've I've been there. Um, <sighs> I think for me, when it said it was actually the, what you quoted just like a couple minutes ago was, "They will lead us all back home." Yeah. Um, to well, me, the seven points aligned. See, I don't I don't know if that's like part of the Stargates. Like you need that to. Okay, so yeah, okay, just one thing. So in, in Stargate, like, they open these portals, and, hence Stargate, and they go through, mm-hmm. and then they, you know, either fight bad guys or align with somebody and try to save the world or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like that game you were playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, well... The alliances, the great yeah, things. Yeah, 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 intergalactic alliances, yeah. I actually, I was thinking about that game last night, and I'm like, damn, I should I should load that game. I forgot the name of the game was. Eden, I think it was. Eve. Eve, yeah. Like, there's a lot of build-up to it, though. Like, there's a lot of tutorials and stuff. Like, the first couple of levels are just, like, straight-up tutorials to explain to you how to work the thing. Uh-huh. I finally got the Magic Mouse to work. Dorian found the Magic Mouse. So, um, so I was getting better and better at it because, you know, whatever. But anyway, let's go back to our regular schedule program. So I think when they say find home, I think it is they're trying to find a portal that will get them back to their original place. Oh, yeah. they I, went through the portals and they kept getting lost, I think. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. I obviously, I took it someplace different, but... I was going with, because I kept, like, slipping into making it like a Christian song, even though it wasn't. But because it started the way that it did, it kind of, like, set me in a certain direction. Yes. I'll, actually, I thought of Sadie at this part, because when they will all lead us, they will lead us back home. Like, her big thing is, like, oneness, which yeah. I, I'm with oneness completely. We just Ooh. have a different, say, me and Sadie. Oh, okay. Um, we just have a different idea of what oneness is is or i guess how it's attained for now but yeah for now (laughs) but i love the idea of oneness that sort of like completeness and coming together and obviously seven is a is a pretty important number in the scriptures and then when last night you were you were talking about six and what the number six means yeah um like did you say not quite making it to like the yeah just falling short just yeah never yeah and yeah and then six 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 is just the failure over again, and then it's eternal, totally it's like this is failure. not yeah. eternal failure. Yeah, every time you say eternal failure, I don't know why that makes me want to laugh. But then seven. That's the devil using eternal failure. <laughs> like Loki, I guess. Yeah, anyway, he's always coming up short, always missing a game winning shot. <laughs> yep, he's like a, like a Loki. That's so weird. Um. Anyway, so, but then seven is it's the number of completion, so represents God. Yeah. Um, so oh, when I it agree. said we have found the seventh sign, to me that was like finding God, and then down in the catacombs because so I I love the idea of um, kind of becoming one, not just with nature but also with your forefathers and mothers, like yeah. knowing what they knew and believing. And I was thinking the other day about something so basic. I was thinking about recipes and how I've always looked at recipes as just like a resource, something that I needed so I could make something that I wanted to make instead of recognizing the history of that resource. And then I was thinking, because we were talking, that's because the other night we were talking about how everything connects back to God and that every experience that we have is meant to be able to show us something deeper about God. And so, you know, when we're, we're tasting some food and we're like, okay, God created this flavor. He didn't have to put flavoring, but he did. So we could experience something and know something about him. So I was thinking about that and then I was thinking about recipes and how they connect. That's like one of the things that connects us because there's like good recipes and there's bad recipes and like bad recipes are like people now are like, hey, let me see if I can figure out this and throw something together. Good recipes come from a history and a line of taste buds all saying this is this has been perfected over time. Yeah. And so like that was like the completion down in the catacombs was I always go to the Puritans when I was thinking about like getting to that perfection, like that number seven. I, I thought a lot of the Puritans, but then obviously I found out all this horrible stuff about the Puritans, and then you mean so that they this, were sinners. Yeah, but like, like they always <laughs> even were presented. The title of Puritans is so funny because they were so pure, right? That's kind of what you think, Ridiculous. and then you start finding out, like, oh that my they gosh, were, like, they were just regular human beings. They had slaves, and like, all, all anyway. So, so anyway, but I was like, you can go, you go way, way back. Not, don't stop at the Puritans because how far. 
like how far back can you go to get very, very close to the beginning and find out what the beginning of all things were. So that to me was like the catacombs was like going all the way back in history to connect way, way, way back with the beginning of everything. Um, and then they will lead us back home was they're leading us back to that oneness that we had in the garden. Yeah. Somebody said, somebody just texted me, read our super chat, you losers. <laughs> I don't even see a super chat here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's Pony. Please note Irene, Floyd's sister, and her vocal ability alongside many musical talents, including Annika von Giersbergen and Marco Hietala. Hie that guy, so Marco Hietala. Her Hietala, sister was beside her? Yeah, yeah, that was her sister. That's what I thought. That's yeah. that's cute. She could hone her own. They got they got they just won the genetic lottery, lottery know, man. Subhanallah. Wow. They both of those guys are ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it was it was unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I that's that's one of those shows where you got to pay a lot of money, man. <laughs> like or that's one of those yeah, shows where oh, yeah. it's like the it's like the the uh, the Bucks the Bucks versus the Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> we paid a lot of money for that shit. Like going to the Super Bowl is probably going to be half that cost. You realize that? So insane. You realize that? It's, I know. It's crazy. And it, and it, the other thing that's going to be crazy is like, it's probably going to be Bucks versus Patriots. It could very well be Bucks versus Patriots. Stop. So. <laughs> yeah, but. There's no way we cannot go to that. That's, that's gonna no, be I of, know. I we're know. We're going to have to get good C. It's going to be a lot of money, bro. I oh. It's in L.A., though. So at least we'll get to visit Zoni and Carmen. And them. Oh, so, okay. Know, yeah. Know. Well, um, we have, but, but what I'm saying is I would pay a pretty penny because this is not like one of those bands where you're going to, oh, we'll see them the next time around. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, know what I'm saying? Like if I miss Brian, I'm like, oh, don't worry about it, bro. Next time you guys, is, right, you know, right. you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not like that. It's like, when are you going to see all these people together at the same time on the same stage, especially if the, if the album is like a, a, a oh, story, which it, right. it has to be. Right. Can you imagine like being such a fan of this band and then having that experience? That's like one of those like bucket list moments where like you cry thinking about it. Oh, like, oh man. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Yeah. Cuz honestly the football game itself wasn't really that that I mean it was a close game. Yep. But obviously the connections we made there with with Oh yeah. with you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, that whole situation. That was the reason that we went. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But this, I mean, because I remember my first rock show, the first time I saw Corn live, mm -hmm. I was just like, I I completely, like, totally lost it. I was so over the moon. Oh. And if I'd have told myself, hey, in a couple of years, you'll actually, I mean, <laughs> no way, no, because it was the same, it was crazy too, because it was stained. I saw them oh, with Stained. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's, were, that's and it was wild. funny too because they had mindless self indulgence before Stained, yep. and they were a goofy band. Okay. They were kind of funny, and that band before '68, they were kind of funny. Yeah, and then Stained came on, whatever, and then and then and so I, I don't wow, know. Wow, that's crazy. interesting. Like, yeah, going to this show, can you imagine being no. in this freaking show? No, I can't. Like, I can't. Un freaking believable. I can't. You're right too with that with the. Oh, if we miss it, well, you know, you could hit another one. But this, how are you going to repeat this? You're yeah, right. you're completely right. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming they're not going on some giant world tour together. Right. I mean, that would be bananas. <laughs> they're not going to be doing I'll, albums. I'll tell you what, if they going. did, I, I don't care how much we, we oh, would we would get be there. there. We would get there for show. We would for show for show. Shout out to the big homie Adam. Have a good rest tonight, buddy. Uh, okay, what do you rate the song? Um, <laughs> this guy Nick is just <laughs> this is action out eleven for me. Huh? It's an 11 for me. Subhanallah. Yeah. I'll give it a 10. His, his voice is so good, and then he went really up high. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just, and it was a story. You and know, then also the the eye of Ra is watching over us, because we've, al we've always talked about being made in the image and likeness of God. Yeah. And then with Ra being the sun god, and I don't yeah. know, I just thought of that as being like the our god. I know that's not what the song is talking about, but that's how it was, and it says like the eye of Ra is watching over us. And when they were singing that, him, right, yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That is True. His. So it's I, it was like that. Like his eyes are watching over us, and I just love that. And the way that they were singing it was like, it was like had a churchy sort of sound to it. Oh. But I knew that they weren't church people, so then I could be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, everybody's a church person, bro. I know, but you know what I mean. 
You just you just have to relocate the cathedral. I do. I do. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. Like and the thing is it's like somebody quoted a psalm it's like I will I will sing to the Lord and I'll praise the Lord with all my bones because who can deliver Isn't that you? Who can I was deliver say, Wasn't that the first time? Who read? can deliver the needy from the from those stronger than them or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But but the point was I will praise it says I will praise the Lord with all my bones. Yeah. I thought that was brilliant. Because like that's that full-bodied worship right. that you you only will ever right. find in the modern world. You're only gonna find that in a rock show. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, you'll and like, you'll hear people say like, "I was so cold. I was cold down to my bones." That yeah. means like you're trying to say you're cold all the way through. Yeah. So that like, if you're gonna do something all the way to your bones, like yeah, yeah. It's but metalheads, metalheads will literally break, break their bones. bones yeah. and stay. Right. <laughs> stay. That's Who commitment. does that? That's Meanwhile, so Meanwhile, in the building in the church, you know, Aunt Susie, it's a little hot. She's done. Okay, first person that sends us a uh, a picture of your broken bone, not the not the broken bone, but like the cast after a show, uh, we'll get a, a mug. How will we know? Well, they'll show a picture of like you know That's like fair. they could show a picture at the show and then like I'm sure they would have taken a picture of something at the show. Show us proof of that. Vinandstory at gmail .com, The first email that we get that has a picture of and your story, we'll get we'll send you a mug. I think they're right. So I, th I got I got to push it. this up to a ten and a half. Got to be a ten and a half. For me. Eleven for me. For show. Sure. Uh, that Peter Frampton one has to remain the song of the night for me, so it's gonna stay at an, it's gonna stay at a ten and a half. But yeah, like Vlad was like like <laughs> How I, I, I'm sorry. Do that? You I, have to I, give I this think, song its own that, rating, not put it God, in the lineup. I just think that God's up there. He's like he's looking at church and he's looking at the boring Christians. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's looking at these guys. And he's <laughs> right. saying yeah. he's saying I mean it's not raw. I'm better than raw. If they, yeah. truly, if they truly knew who I was, they'd be singing to me anyway. So I'm yeah. just going to hang out over here with these guys. I, I'm i sorry. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I'm sorry. That's where I'm at. This shit I, right I here. I agree with you. <laughs> where everybody's all boring and shit, man. It's Come like, on, bro. My shit is trash. I know. <laughs> it's trash, bro. Oh, my gosh. I was thinking about that pastor, how he would, like, call the men into the office every week and ask them if they were making their wives obey. Like, I'm like, why would anybody want to be at that church? That's so terrible. Are you making your wife a man? I yeah. swear to God, bro. I know. Are you mad? <laughs> Are you making? <laughs> All right, let's get out of this before 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 I start. Yeah, before Finn's really gonna go off. Singing. All right, y'all. Having seen, we got one more, one more for your Queen's yep. life. Yes. We wait. Nick brilliantly saved that for last, so yep. that these poor motherfuckers would have to stay here with us the entire time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, would, that's oh true. yeah, if he would put that shit first, they'd be like, that's great, man. Thank you. Very good. Vid out! Sorry out. Go!